Hey everybody, today uh, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm actually gonna play on my alt account. So my alt um, is sort of an interesting, has an interesting play style, um, and I'll explain why. Also, apologies, this guy wanted to hang out today, so he's currently chilling. I don't know how long he'll stay here for, but <laughs> he was just like, I gotta sit on your lap today. So anyway, he's hanging out uh, for a while. So the general play style for this account is going to be, it's actually a, it's actually a damage cleave um, that happens to run kind of as a CC. It looks like a CC cleave, right? right? Like I use uh, more, I use Robos, um, I use Nephthys. So this account has a couple pretty decent LD5s on it. Uh, and generally, you don't even get to play with Nephthys, actually. Like the rest of the team is kind of not that crazy. Uh, so Nephthys gets banned most of the time. So what actually ends up being a lot of the time is a more uh, Robo Cleave using Craig. There isn't very much counterplay in this team either. So like, I don't have very many good counter picks. I have a couple of like this stuff runed up, like a Belio Manon, but the, the rune efficiency on this account is much lower uh, than my account. So actually trying to out tank people ends up being not a great idea a lot of the time. Um, so typically I try not to pivot very much. Uh, usually it's gonna come down to like what, what's fitting in the correct cleave unit, right? Like picking, do I need double robo? Cause a lot of times I'm going more first pick into Craig Nephthys to sort of like establish the threat early. Um, and then it's like, do I follow up with robo? Do I follow up with Amduat? So this Amduat's not even high DPS. Look, it's got 400 attack. <laughs> and yet you can kind of, and it's 159 speed. I almost hit Guardian with this account. Uh, last season, unfortunately, I didn't quite make it, but hopefully, hopefully this season. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's go through the runes real quick. Okay, so we have more. He's on Despair Blade uh, just to get his damage up a little bit. Um, oh, never mind. He wants to leave now. Okay, well, <laughs> see you later, dude. Um, all right, let's let's redo the camera since he's just you know <laughs> now he's hanging out over there. Uh, I just had to show him off. He wanted to hang out. Guest star today. So we have more, uh, not very tanky, high damage, mostly on additionals. So uh, for additionals, we're looking at mostly damage by attack, a little bit of speed, a little bit of points. Artifacts, again, not very efficient on this account. Uh, uh, same deal with Robo, we're on uh, the spare will instead. Uh, efficient build, this actually builds pretty good other than the low defense. Uh, but again, really, really good additionals on him. Um, so, the next follow-up is going to be uh, Wind Robo. Um, again, same kind of build, this time Violent. I feel like Violent Wind Robo is insane. Um, again, additionals. It's, I mean, pretty, this is the, as most, this is like the simplest uh, turn one cleave you can think of, pretty much. Nephthys, um, surprisingly, is also on Despair. It's on Despair Will, and it's on crit damage. With, so it's so the thing is, is I knew this unit wouldn't get through a lot of the time, but I wanted to do damage when it did. Also, look at that accuracy, crazy. Um, you, you don't need accuracy. Um, and then, okay, so that's that's the core, right? The two robos, more Nephthys. That's your, that establishes your threat. Um, against anyone turn two, you're actually hoping they go stuff like Junos, Shizukas, that kind of stuff. Um, Craig is the honestly the only well runed unit on the account. Um, really good efficiency, really good runes. Uh, obviously, really really fast. So I've I've been basically putting every reap this account has into swift runes, uh, specifically to try to basically make one unit fast enough. This is the sort of the power of one good swift set, right? Like if they ban Craig, but they usually don't. You kind of are okay because like Nephthys is a bigger threat, but Craig really is what brings the team together. Um, as I said, Amduat, Amduat's really, really good. Um, okay, so my accuracy is pretty low. I have, I believe, see, I don't even have accuracy here, but the idea of this team is that if they draft something like that's a little bit more mid-range, um, the rest of the units on the team have to be scared of, don't need really to be scared of Leo, where Amduat kind of does, uh, or sorry, not Amduat, uh, I, I will use Poseidon as a follow-up a lot of the time. He's on Swift Focus. He's literally just a, if I get to hit them with Poseidon, I win kind of a unit. 
but he has the problem of Leo, right? So if I suspect a potential Leo coming out, we pick Amdwat, because Amdwat does a lot of the same stuff that Poseidon does. Uh, and especially when you're fall like leading off with ATB absorbs to start with, like the Robos, like more, etc. Uh, we have Chung Pong against certain types of teams. Again, not very fast. Remember this this ba account was in Guardian several times. Like I almost finished Guardian, but I just didn't quite close it out. So if you're if you're concerned about your speeds, um, you know obviously this guy like does a lot, right? But if you have one good Swift set you can do something like this team. Because Nephthys isn't required, right? Like, Nephthys, honestly, isn't even necessary. Um, she does bring a speed lead. She does bring, uh, obviously, a huge threat, so she gets banned a lot. But it's not really, like, she's not a linchpin to the team because the team works without her because she gets banned a lot. Uh, okay, as a force ban, if they're going faster than us, we do have Triple Revenge Verd because the thing is, is between Verd and Craig, if they give us both of these, uh, you can get a ton of turn advantage, right? Um, another speed lead that we sometimes use will be Tyrone. Not quite as often as, obviously, Nephthys, but sometimes you need it, or if they pick Nephthys. Uh, we have Oliver, uh, just in case we need another speed lead. Um, we have Douglas as the force ban. Not even a very good Douglas. I, I mean, it's decent. Like the current, It's on crit damage and okay-ish attack. But really, we're not going to pick it that much. We have Manon for extra RNG. We have a Belio for more RNG. Uh, I have some more units I can I could build, but that we haven't really gotten to just yet. Like we have we have monkeys. We have uh, this guy. We have. Uh, I really should have a Daphnis runed up. We should probably have Lyca runed up. Um, yeah, there's more LD fives to choose from. Like both of these. Like Wool Young actually could I could potentially be using on this account, but I actually really like Craig. Craig is better than Wool Young. I'll say it right up, or straight up. Craig is better than Wool Young, and uh, I hope to at least show that today. Um, what else? Nothing really. I don't have Diana, which is kind of unfortunate. Diana would be really good as a counter pick. Uh, I don't have Sonya, also would be very good as a counter pick. Anyway, that's, that's the core setup. Um, let's get into it. Um, so I haven't really done placements yet. So we're going to be doing placements, but theoretically, it's going to be a lot of the same tier of people I should be playing. Like we'll probably be, you know, rank 10,000 ish whenever we finish placements. Um, and so this is this is a little bit more of a middle of the road kind of a setup, um, or a sort of kind of a little bit more of a middle rank team. Okay, so he's going fast, but he's definitely playing Bruiser. So we're not too scared of him like trying to go super fast. This guy, this kind of play with, with a 33 and Camilla can go Sekhmet a lot. So he's already going Leo, so he's just showing shenanigans. So right now, he's probably picking a Triple Revenge Verd. I'm kind of fine with it. We're gonna probably ban Hay Gang. Um, I'm, I actually don't care too much about the rest of it. We, in case of a Vertihill, uh, we're actually going to be drafting this. Basically, we have four despair units, right? So we don't care too much about Vertihill. Um, okay, that's that's not even that scary. He probably okay. So so this guy made a mistake right off the bat, which is a we have more, and we have an attack debuff, and we have an attack buffer, right? So this guy is and he he bans his own like Leo with his own thirty three is not that crazy. Uh, we're likely just going to cleave him down. Uh, he can push Craig though. Uh, and he probably will, but honestly, that's not even that bad. Uh, we're going to try to probably attack break on the first turn. If he pushes Craig, we're going to try to um, attack break. Oh, we can't actually. We can't attack break uh, this guy, but we might be able to strip here. So let's let's go. Okay, we actually did, but his attack's super low, so he just glanced. Okay, that's not that crazy. We get pushbacks, also not that crazy. Um, so this is where hopefully we do a little bit more of the work because um, we're going to need some glances or not glances like a uh, this is going to end up being a more game in reality like he really needs to. OK, that's not that bad. He goes here. That's fine. Um, we're going to try to attack break here. We didn't get it. Uh, he goes here, gets that. OK. Oh, never mind. GG. OK, so potentially uh, so I actually did make a bit of a mistake here. I was kind of thinking about it, which is that he's likely leaving me Craig. And the issue with leaving is if with Craig, I didn't need to ban Hay Gang. Like we would have been fast enough that Hay Gang, even if we had stunned, 
would have been fine. So we actually should have banned Leo. Uh, I made, that's 100% uh, on me there. Cause we would have outsped him either way. Um, so the, the problem with that is if he had banned Craig because of the Douglas was kind of what I was uh, kind of thinking he would do is to get rid of the attack break. Um, then the Hay Gang would have just completely, we would have just died to the Hay Gang. Hay Gang's really scary right now. Uh, so this guy's going hard turn two. This guy should literally just die. Um, this guy's gonna get despaired into the ground. There's not much he can do about it at this point. This is the scariest thing there. It's kind of tragic. We're gonna again go Amduat here because we're, we're basically stacking despairs. Okay, he bans, as I said, Neptis will get banned most of the time. So the only thing that really scares me here is if we completely biff all the despairs, uh, basically Kinky can kind of do some stuff and it's not very good. It's not very fun for us. But luckily he doesn't have Leo and we have Craig and Craig is insane. So um, as I said, you'll, you'll see the power of Craig eventually. Okay, so we, we miss our first set of despairs. Uh, we get nothing on the second set of despairs. Third set of despairs, let's see it, anything? Nope, we get nothing. Fourth set of despairs, we got nothing. Uh, we're actually going to go um, make sure he can't heal. And then we're gonna go one more chance on the despair. We get it this time, finally. Uh, so now he, he should just be, he should just be done. Um, this guy isn't that bad. Um, let's push this. Do this and then okay, GG. Like so, we actually missed how many despairs? Like twelve contacts on despair before getting our first one. So I mean, sometimes that'll happen. It's still one anyway. That's the nice thing about the false tolerance of having a ton of despairs is eventually you're going to get there, uh, usually. But there's a chance it just doesn't happen for you. I mean, that's you got to keep that in mind. Like the game is RNG. A lot of its core components are RNG, right? So you have to keep that in mind every time you play. Is it like, and that's kind of like a, a lesson, quote unquote, about the game. So we're actually gonna go Wind Robo here because he's pretty weak to it, um, and he can't really pick Douglas. We're we're already fully countered against Douglas right here. Like he, Douglas is not a good counter into what we have, so I'm pretty comfortable picking Wind Robo because even if he picks Douglas, we don't have to ban anything. Uh, Let's see, so he's going double 33s. We're off Will, so this thing's pretty scary. Um, we can do a little bit of shenanigans here, right? Um, like we can go Chung Pong and then ban... Do we ban Zabala? Let's ban Zabala and see if we can do it. Cause he doesn't have anything that accelerates. Uh, the rest of his team. So if this is a violent monkey, for instance, he, he's gonna have to try to stun Craig turn one, and he's gonna have to do it without using skill two, because if he skill twos, then more will get the move. Um, it's also possible he's slower than us, but I don't expect it. Okay, so it, it is a it is a swift monkey, but he still can't skill two, he has to S3. He can't S3 right off the bat. So he goes there, that's fine. He, he might S2 here, might. But he also might try to, okay, he goes S1. Okay, he biffs it completely, that's fine. So now we just have to hope to strip on at least the Oliver, because otherwise the Oliver's gonna take over. He didn't, it's unfortunate. At least we're not gonna get p Um, He can push this, we're, we're actually on Swift though. Like, we're not, sorry, not on Swift, we're, uh, we all have movement speed, so. Okay, that's rough. So he is gonna get to S2 here, but it's not gonna be that bad. Um, I'm gonna do this just so we can't hit anything else. We need to taunt here. We didn't taunt. Okay, I think we lose. Uh, he, we might be able to get away with it if this guy doesn't stun heavily on this attack. Okay, actually, no, no, we're, we're kind of doing fine. Uh, this is still the scary one. Oh. <laughs> okay, good thing he left. I, I don't think I should have won that, personally. Like, double 33's double speeds is one of my worst matchups in this because Craig is not a real swift unit, right? Like, even with a swift set that good, you're, you don't get to beat high base speed 33s, right? And they're picking Oliver, so I don't have another 33 option. Actually, I think, do I have Pisama? Let me check. I don't know if I have Pisama on this account. I don't think I do. A 
Okay, so Rat signals slow team probably. He takes Oliver because like Oliver fits inside of a slow team. I don't agree with it. Like I think Oliver's not that good if the rest of your team isn't good. Okay, so he's so he's threatening speed though, which is kind of cool. So we're actually gonna bring an early Amdwat because I want to fit this in. So we're actually gonna ban the 33. So, cause if he leaves his Craig, we're going to outspeed him and he can't turn cycle because of Amdwat. So he gets to ban Craig or Amdwat here. Uh, and then we're going to bring uh, Dark Robo and then ban the 33. So, so he has two fast units, but he doesn't have an actual speed lead for them. Uh, so with no speed lead, we will actually outspeed this. So it's gonna be uh, like, he just gets Nepties cleaved. Like it's not, good exactly but like this this configuration is not my favorite i'd rather have robo than nepties end of the day uh for for this type of team um so it's a swift it's a swift han uh is it a swift han or is it just a fast violent han not 100 percent sure uh because the han has the speed lead but i mean it's just just cleaving that's pretty normal and that's and that's with a that's with an amdwat with again basically no attack just because of attack break and speed buff and attack buff is like all together makes Amdwat hit really hard. If I ever get the runes to make Amdwat a lot better, um, like actually, you know, like for instance, if I can somehow get him on crit damage, because the thing is, he doesn't even need to be that fast. Like if, if Craig is in the game, he's tuned at almost any speed. So I could potentially put him on like a rage build and just have him literally like dunk people out of the game, right? So we're on double 24 into a Chongpong. So this guy's going as some kind of CC cleave. I'm expecting to see a Sekhmet or an Ethna here. Um, we are going to probably, okay, he uh, he wussies out. He's very still vulnerable to a Robo. So we're gonna go double Robo just to give ourselves a little bit of extra flexibility. We can ban last. He's probably not banning Craig because he doesn't, the thing about drafting Wind Robo is they don't know whether or not the Wind Robo is, um, on Swift, so they kind of have to treat him like he is. Okay, so in this case, he is actually gonna go faster than us. We, with a 33, his Chengpeng is likely tuned faster. Um, he, we will still get Wind Robo, probably, because if he, if he 30, he's gonna have to strip Wind Robo with, um, actually, I mean, we have, we have a, we have a bunch of setup here. Cause he can, he can strip, he probably strips Nepties into a 33. He, he probably does the, okay, no, he doesn't, nice. So he's he's willing to gamble the um, okay never mind he just gambles the two piece gg um, so what he was trying to do though is he was gambling that he was going to get both strips he ended up getting both strips and the two piece so what can he do um, for safety's sake I could have drafted Amdwat there to attempt to interrupt his combo. Uh, I also could have drafted Vertihill just to make him a little bit more scared. Cause like the, the idea is usually we want our first four picks and then we, if we have a four span, um, like in, like in retrospect, I probably could have left the Douglas. I usually can, right? Um, if I had left the Douglas, then we would have outsped. So that's the other thing is in that case, I could have hundred percent gotten to go first had I banned the Oliver. Aside from the miles, um, yeah. It, honestly, he he just out he just out banned. Like I wasn't expecting a ban, uh, Craig ban, but maybe I should have with Douglas. The problem is, is, it seems like a lot of people are not very good at. Um, it, it's like really 50-50 on if they ban Craig, like even if they have something that is basically countered by Craig. It's it's really weird. So there's probably gonna be a four span in this last position. I don't expect to see a Douglas, but maybe it'll be a Douglas. Okay, so he's magnuming, which is a four span, but it also signals he's going to give us Craig. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, draft this. So we draft this, um, and then again, we're just going for layered, um, we're going for layered despairs. We have triple despairs plus Craig and a lot of ATB pushback. Theoretically, we need to de we need to despair stun the um, uh, I forget this guy's name the the dark uh, Osara. I think it's an Osara. Stun it. Yes. No. We didn't get it. That's fine. Another one. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. 
Okay, so we have one last chance to get this Annabelle before we're basically dead. Oh, actually, no, 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 we have one more chance. It's not even a chance, it's actually just a... So this is the other scary unit. We're gonna go here. We just need to get this guy out of the game. We didn't, we're gonna try to taunt it. We didn't get it. Um, let's get rid of this. I think Craig can actually win this by himself. Let's try to get the uh, this thing off. Okay, nice. Nice. That was kind of, but see there, there again, that's like how much despair with no despair stuns. That's just, to be fair though, uh, we didn't strip on the first go round on the Annabelle. Actually, we didn't strip until the fourth attempt to strip Annabelle, I believe. I can't remember whether Amdwat went before or after uh, Dark Robo, but point being is <laughs> sometimes you gotta try a lot of times. <laughs> Every for every time one person like gets despaired, like on their you know you just quad despair something like this happens where you get no despairs across twelve attacks you know. Um, okay, so this guy's gonna be racing us for speed, so we're actually gonna show a high speed unit because right now this will outspeed the Chi Wu even with the thirty three. So he has to ho show a high speed unit, and then we're going to ban this because it's probably gonna be like an Ethna or something. If it's not an Ethna, we ban all of her. Yeah, okay. He shows the high base speed, we get rid of it, and then he has to hope that his chi is faster. Um, it might be, actually. If he bans... Um, yeah, he might be faster. This is just going to be an out rune if we win this, because he should win with a 33 chi over this one, and but and my Zabal... Theoretically, Zabala is the correct ban for him. If he wants to go first, he kind of has to ban Zabala. Uh, he may give us both, though, and then ban, like... Okay, so he actually gave us both. Um, he might still outspeed us, though. This isn't the fastest. Zabala is not ruined fast, which is kind of funny. It, it actually tunes at almost identical speed to uh, Craig. So he may outspeed us, actually. He didn't. But, so here's a, here's a kind of a cool trick that you can do if you're... It, for, the, for the two people in the world who have... Who are used both of these units regularly... Uh, you can tune, uh, you can self-boost Zabala, and then Craig will actually let you move again before, um, like, that, that double boost is basically 100%. So you actually don't have to care too much. Um, sorry, I had to, before my cats began altercating with each other. One's trying to sleep. He's been a little bit sick recently, actually. Uh, so we end up, yeah, so we end up rank around 10,000. Let's collect our stuff. Um, otherwise, this little dot's going to annoy me for, like, literally forever. I could have ruined, or I could have uh, already queued, and then this would be faster. But maybe I'll just cut through this. Nah, I'll just leave it in, whatever. Yeah, so now the real competition begins. So this is approximately the cutoff for, what, C... Three, so we're approximately C3 right now. Like bottom C3. So the people are gonna be a lot, there's gonna be a lot more challenging fights starting from here. Wedge it, we love Wedge it. We're not gonna show Craig yet. Um, I wanna see, he's probably going for a CC draft is my, okay, so he's actually going for a cleave. So we're actually just gonna go for, so the one issue is I don't have Oliver and it sucks. Oops. Um, or sorry, not Oliver. Uh, I don't have Leo and it sucks. Cause against these kinds of people, the, the best way is, so we're actually going to go, so Craig is a problem. Um, He's got double speed units. So we're actually gonna do this. So he actually doesn't have two speed leads. So we can actually get him with this. Yeah, okay, so we ban this and then we ban, so he has he only has one speed lead. Uh, so we just win, essentially. Yeah, he knew. 
Um, I don't know why he didn't bring another speed. He should have had like Shimite in there, most likely. He he. Had, it's a weird cleave though, because he didn't actually have attack buff like naturally. He was just bringing three DPS units and hoping he would get them through, I guess. But that's something to look for is like find the weak point of their game. Okay, so we have a we have a Hey Gang first pick, pretty sweet. So this is actually a really strong combo. These two. Uh, as as first picks. I actually used this at the end of last season. So he's going for kind of a cleave. Um, not that scary. This should be another booster, probably. Let's actually do this so that we show double boost. Because I wouldn't mind the reset here. So we're actually going to do this. Um, so he's banking it on uh, more not, not having it, basically. Uh, there's a potential that... Uh, Cassandra is not on Will, because sometimes they're not. Okay, so this is gonna be a Nemesis one, which is fine. Uh, we have to boost really hard. Hopefully we strip the Cassandra, otherwise we're gonna have a bad time. We didn't, that's actually really, really rough. So we will get to kill two though. Okay, he didn't do it. So, this looks pretty bad, and it is, um, but it's not, no, it's pretty bad, never mind. GG. Yeah, because we missed, the, the issue is we missed two strips there. That actually would have been fine had we hit our strips. Um, but more is not max accuracy, unfortunately. Maybe one day. I actually have a, I have a really good uh, intangible rune that I, I wouldn't mind using on him. Um, but I need a better slot too, most likely, because he's um, he's on this attack one. This is like a garbage rune. <laughs> this is like a it's purple, but it's garbage, right? I could do much better than this. This one needs to have higher accuracy. Like there's there's just so much wrong with this account. But the 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 main thing I'm trying to get across is that it works anyway, because the core idea is good and also LD abuse. LD abuse is very important. And something to think about, because remember, like no one thinks Craig is good, right? No one uses Craig ever. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, because it turns out that in certain teams, Craig is good. This one, for instance. Okay, so we're probably gonna get rid of Ragdoll here. Unfortunately, this guy is going to... Um, okay, so he's wild, he's a wild man. So we have to somehow kill on Gyoki. We're gonna have to kill him with dots, most likely. Um, we need to stun everything. We have enough additionals, we should be able to kill Juno, though. Like, we're gonna get to take a bunch of turns here. Um, let's actually kill this. This is the most important thing. That's fine. So we actually need to kill uh, Rakuni. This was a that was a dumb mistake on his part because this should. Yeah. So he's still dotted. So this guy dies, and then it's just going to become. Now we just like slowly beat this guy down like one hit at a time like Juno doesn't really counter this team and in fact I really like to see Juno when I'm playing this team because she doesn't really do that much like she can win but she also can just like not win okay and then GG yeah we're just gonna keep yeah Sometimes I say stuff like that and I'm just like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's like, sometimes you can win, but sometimes it can not win. It's like, whoa, <laughs> dang, <laughs> insights. All right, again, first pick. <clears throat> first pick more, always first pick more. Okay, same same thing. So this is, this is kind of catching on this, um, the Hey Gang Chung Pong thing. Apparently it's gotten much bigger since, okay, so he's playing speed. So we're actually going to go, we're gonna do this. Um, he doesn't have a speed lead yet. 
So we can actually do this, and then we can either ban speed, because I don't think we can need to ban Hey Gang. When we show double accelerator, he doesn't necessarily ban Craig anymore, right? So at this point, we can actually ban speed lead. He probably gives us Craig. If he doesn't give us Craig, I, again, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care. I really don't. Um, because we have enough ATB increase. So actually, it's possible that if his um, if his Yan Hong is on Will, that we stun it, and it gets enough ATB that we don't get to move first. We're gonna do this though, actually. We should have enough ATB that this won't matter. Yeah, okay. So Hey Gang's gonna get to do it, but no one else is gonna get to do it. Yeah, so he needed more speed leads. It's a good team though. Yan Hong is scary. Yan Hong is really scary. Okay, so we're approximately in C3 territory. It's still C2 because we don't have the uh, rating yet. I think it's like 1500, 1600? I don't remember. There's a rating requirement, which is why we're not. Or C3, like top 6,000? I don't even remember anymore. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so he's going high speed first. Uh, we're actually going to, because I know we're gonna be challenging for speed, we're gonna take Zabala. This is like a thing to make him scared. Mostly, I want him to think Zabala is faster. We're gonna pick Craig, and if he, this can also force him to go much faster than we want. If he goes really fast, we have chances to do things like pick Douglas. Like if he goes too fast, See, this isn't, that's not fast enough, right? Right now, he doesn't do anything super scary because right now he has no accelerator. Um, so he has Hey Gang, that's okay. He, we can't really ban the 33. Uh, we can, however, ban this or this. This one's kind of the worst in a way. Hey Gang's pretty bad. Let's ban this actually. It's the Because if he's fast enough, the issue with, um, the issue with Laura, if he's fast enough, because I'm off will, it can actually S2 into stuns uh, on the first turn. And that's scary. I'm gonna hope I'm faster than the Robo. So I am faster than the Robo, that's just a rune gap. Um, so. And then we're gonna get Pisama, but we're still on will a little bit, and we're just tanky enough that it doesn't kill us. Yeah, so that's, again, like, that's, like, sort of the, that's that's why I picked the Zabala first, was kind of for that to happen. I mean, Zabala's still, I think, the ban either way, because it is just faster, right? I have garbage Swift runes on it, and it's the same speed as Craig after speed leads. Um, so... But, so, I had a little bit of a gambit, but I, I would rather him have banned Craig... Or sorry, I would have rather him ban Zabala than Craig, because Zabala isn't an, a team booster and it also doesn't boost enough. Especially, for, I mean, it boosts enough for one unit, but not for your whole team. Craig makes it so Hey Gang doesn't work. Okay, so we have Speed Cleave. Okay, we're gonna go Craig first here, and then the last two are probably gonna be uh, four span kind of units. We're probably gonna go like Amduat, and then even, and then potentially Douglas. We might, so we're, the problem is, is she's not very tanky. Um, Nephys isn't, so a pick like Abelio is not very good. Okay, so he's going speed stuff. Um, this is still Douglasable, so we can Dougie here. He doesn't have another speed lead yet, so we can Dougie and we can Amduat. Um, and then if he, depending on what he picks, we can ban the 33 and then assume he's gonna give us Craig, or we can do this. Um, yeah, let's do this actually. If he gives us Craig, we just win. Should just win. If he doesn't give us Craig, then it's going to be up to uh, RNG. So this is this was the not banning the Taor. I'm hoping he respect bans Douglas. Okay, he does. So we should just win. This should just be a straight up win. Um, that's that's like a 50-50. You kind of gotta just guess, <laughs> like, because the the correct play is for both of us to last ban or to ban last. But I introduced a 50-50. So if I ban different, then I win. And if, okay, so we actually get boned here a little bit, but it won't matter because Amdwad. 
Oh, it's a despair ethna. That's cool. What a despair unit. Bonk. She's trying it. Oh my god, look at it go. What a unit. <laughs> It wouldn't have mattered though. Actually, that would have been even worse for him if it were on Swift. But we also missed both strips. So you can't, you know. That was like the least good RNG for me and it still wasn't that bad. We're, let's see here. Again, first pick more. Uh, he's going turn two. Ragdoll makes this a little scarier. Uh, we're still gonna pick the core, the core three. Like basically self-contained unit. We do, we hate Ragdoll a lot with this team because you always crit, always, always crit. So here we're not safe to pick Poseidon because Ragdoll is scary. Um, so we're gonna do these two because this is fault tolerant if he picks Leo. In this case, I'm going to ban Ragdoll. Uh, pretty much no matter what, even if this is a Leo. Um, actually, we don't have to. With Leo, we can potentially, thing is I always forget, Craig is so much attack bar and we have ATB pushes that you can actually ban. Like you can you can leave. Okay, so we're not 100 crit. So I don't need to care about Miho. She is gonna stun a lot of our stuff though. But Miho's cool. And if Miho kills us, I think it's worth the experiment. Okay, so we actually does ban Craig, which is pretty cool. Um, we do have all four despair units. Let's see if he is, if it's a swift Wusa, this will be a little bit harder because we're going to have to strip two buffs. If it's violent Wusa, okay, so it is swift Wusa or at least really fast violent Wusa, not sure which. He's gonna go for it. Okay, that, that revenge was really bad for us. That is really funny though, because it because <laughs> it means we didn't despair on. Okay, let's uh, see if we can attack. Oh, we didn't get the attack break. That's too bad. So we're Robo's going to do the thing. He's going to try to S to it. Let's see if this uh, nice additional dude. Uh, this is still this is still doable. It is, but I mean, this thing is 100 crit, so we are gonna be kind of boned by this. Please don't crit, damn. Thing is, is is more more can do it, right? He probably tries to kill Amdwat now. Try to push. Okay, we actually did get it, which is nice. I don't want him, I think this is fine. Okay, cool. I don't think he, because of that stun, I don't think, okay, he can. That's, that's really unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I kind of need to hold this for the next move, if possible. Um, Cause I need, I need to try to strip with more before that goes off. That's really bad. GG, I think that's over, yeah. Yeah, the uh, the revenge from Juno, I think is basically what won him that game. Because the, the cause Robo never got the move, so it was a 3v4 uh, from the beginning that because of this the despair from uh, the extra ATB from the revenge. So, I mean, the, the thing is, that it's funny because the chances of that is so low, but that's also, again, that's just how the game is, right? Because he had a 15% chance to revenge into a 90% chance to strip into a 25% chance to despair. And then all those lined up. So it's like a, what, a three, 4% chance, something like that. 
absurd, absurd, comical, but it happens. In fact, it happens at least three to 5% of the time. Okay, so he's bringing a uh, fire cookie. I don't care about fire cookie, not really. Um, I'm probably gonna ban this or that, probably the 33 lead. Um, let's bring this and let's bring do this actually. I wanna see if he'll pick a Leo. I don't know if he will with a 33 and a speed lead. Because if he brings Leo, I think I can just ban Camilla. But what I actually, okay, so that's that's perfect for us. That's absolutely perfect. So he gives us our core comp. We don't get as much ATB pushback, but it doesn't matter. We should just be killing him. That's the, the goal here is to do enough damage that he dies. Uh, he does have a lot of sustain though. Three, three different sustain units. We do have um, heal block from the Nephthys. But without the ATB push on this, I don't remember. I don't remember if it nerfs my absorb though. Maybe it does. I can't remember if it reduces. And I know it reduces how much it takes from them. I don't know if it reduces how much I steal. I think it does reduce how much I steal though. It doesn't come up too often. One one nice thing here actually is that uh, he has no will, so more is going to be a buzzsaw of a unit right now. Look at this. Get out of here, Juno. Didn't like you anyway. Hopefully this isn't violent. This this thing on violent could actually be... Nope, never mind. Don't crit, thank you. Get out of here, Camilla. Steadily climbing. Not yet at our, not yet guardian, but that's how it is. Candies. One thing that hasn't happened much is I haven't seen, different from last season, I haven't seen many people stealing more yet. Like more, got stolen a lot near the end of last season, but his win rate's kind of low this season. So unfortunately we are not having a good time right now. And the reason why is the correct counter pick to that is Leo and I don't have Leo. Okay, so he's going double accelerator. He has a 28, he has a 33. We're actually gonna ban Sonya and then we're probably gonna try to kill him on pure efficiency. So we have to bring another robo, ban this and then um, this is gonna be a rough game. I think we're dead, and it's gonna be because of Veramos. But we do have we do have Amdwat. Amdwat's a pretty good uh, is pretty good at disruption. So there's a possibility we win it off the back of Amdwat. And also we have Robo, and Robo's pretty good. He probably resets Robo turn one. Is my guess. Um, that's that's my guess. And his Wool Young is faster, which is a little unfortunate, but at least we're not dead. Please miss the reset. We'll be happy forever. We didn't. Please stun Wool Young. Okay, so that's super good, right? So this guy's gonna cycle a lot, but it's also gonna cycle Amdwat. Okay, so he can go for the stun, but he is glanced right now. Oh, actually, that's really good. Can we stun this? Nope. He is still glanced, which is fantastic. Okay, now he's not glanced, so we're gonna have bad times. Either of those stunning would have been great. Obviously it didn't. Okay, so he missed that, that's fine. S2s, that's fine too. We're not dead yet, it's still looking rough. Um, I really want this stunned. Okay, we hit a lot of good stuff there. That's fine. Okay, we're about to get another Amdwad S2. That's really unfortunate. Glancing, get stuns, thank you.
Oh, that's a really good provoke. Okay, so Amdrot's about to S2 again. Oh, never mind. We've missed the cooldown time. Okay, so it could still be fine, though, actually. All the... Mm, never mind. She doesn't have S2 yet. We need... I think Amduat will cut the... No, it won't. Never mind. So he's going to get a heal. Yes, does he have S2? No, he doesn't. Okay, this is rough. This is real rough. I think this is the last move for Amduat. Ah, GG. See, that's where pure like rune efficiency would make Amduat much better. Um, because it, it came down to him being disruptive. I probably, you know, in, in actuality, Antares would have been better there. Maybe I should just rune up an Antares. Just be that guy. Maybe I will. I don't even know if I built Antares on this account. Antares would have been fantastic there. Because it's like a bunch of like low effectiveness units taking a lot of turns. And that's exactly where Antares lives in terms of winning games. Okay, so we have Hei Yang. We need to try to bring... We either need to bet he's not letting Craig through. And then counter pick. Or we need to try to get Craig through. Because Craig will counter the Hei Yang. Um, it looks like he's going mid speed. Usually they don't try to go actual fast stuff whenever... They pick Hay Gang, but I, you could see an Escher Sekhmet here. Or, um, okay, so he's going for more Bruiser. So we, but let's see, if we go, if we go, let's just do, we're just going to do full strip. We're just going to full send it. Uh, we probably need to ban Speed Unit here. Uh, we could also potentially ban uh, whatever this last threat is. Okay. So he went full anti whatever it is we're doing. So I could ban this. Actually, I want to ban speed because I think he's going to give us Craig. If he doesn't give us Craig, we're not having a great time. But at the same time, we have enough strips that he can only reset one, right? So we a lot's going to depend on exactly how much pushback we get on, uh, on Pater. Because Pater is going to be the thing that actually fixes his team. Like, um, if we get a full robo pushback into a Craig S2, I think we win. If we don't, I think it's sketchy. It's very sketchy. One nice thing there is that we actually uh, got rid of the thing we would have been stripping. Okay, so. Please kill the segment. We didn't. Ah, see, I think he's gonna. Does he go for the strip? Please strip. Please strip me. Thank you. So he he made a mistake there. Oh, actually, hold on. Does silence stop Pater? I guess it does, doesn't it? I yeah you know, he used to he used to cleanse but I, that may only be on hard CCs like it removes hard CCs I guess but it doesn't stop cleanse that's interesting it's very interesting huh oh he biffed it all right so game's over and he's even helping us out with see at least he knows what the right target is though. I think he actually lost. Well, did he? I, I wasn't even, I w didn't even think about it. I wasn't aware that you could silence him from being able to cast his third because I thought it would have cleansed, but I guess that's not how it works now. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. I, I was living slightly more in fear of Pater than I needed to. Okay, so hard turn two. We might even see a Bulwark. Uh, I do expect to see a Miles in here. But he might also go slightly faster. He might do an all-over Sekhmet or like an all-over Ethna. 
Okay, I wasn't expecting to see that, but we're he's fully susceptible to robos, so we're gonna do this and then ban last. Because he needs to be very scared of Wind Robo right now. But we also need to be very scared of Shizuka. <laughs> Shizuka could turn this whole thing around and it won't even be funny. Okay, Verd, no. No, 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 no. He wants to interject RNG into it. To be fair, he still has Shizuka. Again, if Shizuka procs, we just lose. But I think we have a perfect team for killing his set of four. Um, this is just going to be the additionals machine. And then he has to... Feng Yan is insane. So Feng Yan, actually, if, if we don't absorb enough off of Feng Yan, can just kill us. Um, and that would be sad. But who knows, maybe we won't strip anything. That's also possible. Or he'll just disconnect or something. Okay, he goes for heals, that's fine. Does he kill Robo or try? No, he tries to kill that Robo. Let's just punch him. We should be fine here. Unfortunately, he punched the wrong thing. Uh, this is gonna be the most threatening because if this procs and gets like immunity up, we're basically done. Um, we just cycle, let's kill Shizuka. This guy could just cycle. Doesn't look like it. Okay, GG. Hmm. Yeah, so far so good. A lot of turn twos this season, um, so far. Like, I mean, there's still the, the high speed guys, but they, they mostly live in Guardian now, <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Like, the, the all over Ethna people, I think, are slowly getting abused by, um, Let's see here. Same deal. You know, I think I can fix my screen. Hold on. Look at that. We're fixing it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, more turn to garbage. Easy stuff. Literally robos. Should have an easy time. Nice thing about Wind Robo, I really like having Wind Robo in the game, uh, specifically because it, most people consider it to be a potential Swift threat. I think I said this already, but whenever you have Swift Robo, it makes it much more likely that you get Craig through because they're, they don't know if they're banning the only Swift unit. Whenever you have only Craig, they know where the Swift unit is. Um, so, so Wind Robo actually runs interference for Craig, which is nice. Um, Let's see what kind of Wusa is it. It's a violent Wusa, so we do get to go. This is nice. Um, let's see, do we get any? We got fantastic despairs. We're going here. Wusa is the worst thing here. Okay, that sucks. Luckily, I don't think it's gonna matter. This guy goes in. Uh, we are actually going to go here and try to, we, we want to kill Wusa again, because he's the worst, and also he's unstunned. I do have a little bit of accuracy, so I could have potentially gotten to, okay, that's nice. So, he, he almost got it, he tried to proc out, he didn't quite get it. Uh, we need to get rid of the Riley, because I'm not that scared of a Malong. Taunt? Oh no! All right, so Molong's gonna do it. So we're gonna see a Molong S2 most likely on the first turn here, because uh, he's gonna probably be able to kill this whether or not he. Yeah, so he just went for it. We still need to kill the Riley. If we kill the Riley, um, we should be golden. Yeah. Okay. See, so just a little bit more additionals, we wouldn't have that entire round. 
grind all your runes. Man, once this account, actually, all the all the other units are as good as the Craig. This is gonna be an insane account. I have so much fun playing this account because uh, the decision making is pretty simple. Cause it's, again, it's like a one trick pony, right? And I never re -rune it. So it's kind of just like a relaxing team to play. It's like playing Cleave, except like maybe a little bit better, unless you're like a G3 Cleaver, which there's a couple, but it's very hard. Very difficult to G3 Cleave. I can't see this guy. Uh, first pick Van Cleave, what? You know what I should? I should have picked Nephthys, because a first pick Van Cleave player is almost definitely picking a Nephthys, right? Okay, so he's LD, he's LD Cleaving me, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna show a second quote unquote Swift unit because I want him to stay on Wool Young. Ooh, he's doing weird stuff. That's cool. So he's got a double speed unit now. Um, so I can pick a 33 to scare him. And in fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do because now he has to ban the 33 or give me my Swift unit. Uh, and I had to ban, Okay, so now it's it's my 33 versus his 33, and it's gonna be like who goes first, because this is a high base speed unit, so that would have won the, the speed contest, like right off the bat, if we had allowed it. Oh, oh my God, look how fast it is. Okay. This guy's crazy. How, how big damage is this? Oh! Proc, damn, that's crazy. So that's a, so it's a 325. I mean, yeah, that, that guy has that guy has some blazing runes too. So he's like one tricking the same way I am, but his runes were better. Well, actually his base speed is better because he, I'm on, a, I'm on a 98 speed body and he's on a 103. It's crazy that he has it tuned in front of Wool Young though. That's a crazy thing to do. So here we have our first. So we're gonna go uh, double robos with a 33 lead instead of uh, more is what we're gonna have to do. Just it's just a it's just a game it's just a game of how it goes. Let's do this. Let's go this. It's fine. We're still on this. We also can potentially counter pick here. Um, like for instance, so Escher takes speed for sure here. So he's going. So he's gonna have two units. So now we can pick a non we can pick a force ban like if this is another weak fire unit we can douglas so he's gonna ban douglas right 100 percent. so we can do this and we will get our basically whatever we want right so the reason i did this is because i don't want cigar to go first um he has to try to reset craig otherwise the rest of my team will get to go which may not matter depending on what he resets he should reset either craig or robo um, unless he's just completely off will, in which case he can reset whatever he feels like. He probably resets Craig. He did. Nice. Let's actually go for the strip, or let's go for the taunt. We missed it. Sad. Um, do we care? If this procs, we're still kind of okay. Res on both. And we frocked out. This is why Violent Robo is insane. He's got two fire units, so we're probably gonna, oh, we got one. Good more, yes. Get Vanessa also? No, too bad. It does mean he's, he's uh, do a proc though, for sure. Let's try to push this. Okay, there's the proc, that's fine. That's interesting. That's an interesting thing to be hitting. I guess he reset. Did he reset? Uh... Let's see if we can get the push on this. We did, nice, awesome. That was high risk, high reward, but it's fine.
big crits and a despair stun. My gosh. This is his only comeback potential is Vanessa. We procced a lot. Sometimes that happens. He did get at least one good counter proc though, but having things on violence sometimes is really good, especially when you're going against like a CC cleave. But one big change I would really like to do on this team is actually to have everything on will. Um, but unfortunately, hard to do. <laughs> Yeah, I dislike the first pick more because more is very it's basically instrumental instrumental to my strategy. Okay, so this is your standard uh, Rakuni Miles. Uh, this guy probably doesn't pivot fast, aka we're probably not going to see Vanessa Ethna or Vanessa or like we might see Oliver Camilla. Uh, okay, he's going Fing Yan instead. Hey, gang, not that scary. I don't care. We're going to bring this so that he has a second Swift quote unquote unit to to worry about. We could also bring Chung Pong. I'm going to bring Dark Robo, though. Dark Robo is just such a safe pick. And also another Despair unit. Okay, not, not that scary. We don't have to worry about Hey Gang. I actually think this might be... That might be the worst. The, the, in this case, this could be the worst because all of these are going to kind of survive for a decent bit, right? But the cool thing about Craig is that he strips all the shield runes, which makes your strippers much more effective into this type of team. So like, for instance, he's gonna have shield because of, okay, never mind. He has a Miles that's not on shield, that's crazy. Absolutely insane. Guy's a wild man. But, Cleave is good. Let's get rid of this, it's the thing that's gonna, okay, GG. But yeah, usually, Mile, or, usually Miles is on shield, which actually helps a lot whenever they're getting initiated on by a more because the the first strip can strip the shield instead of the uh, will runes. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, same deal. Uh, this guy is going to probably ban Craig this time. Just as an FYI. Uh, the, or he's going to pivot faster. Also possible. So we're gonna go this guy. We're, we're, we're gonna have to ban Hay Gang this time. If he brings Hay Gang. If he brings Hay Gang. Okay, that's uh, that's kind of whatever. Um, let's bring Zabala this time. Uh, we're gonna ban this anyway. Or do we ban this anyway? Actually, let's ban this. Okay. So so we're gonna do the, the Zabala combo like we did last time. I don't know, Miles may outspeed us this time, but he didn't have shield runes. So he doesn't actually get that much speed. So we he we know a little bit about what he's doing, and he knows a little bit about what we're doing. Um, and in this case, we're gonna freeze him. Hopefully, please get the Abelio. This guy doesn't violent proc, we're golden. We, we gotta get this guy down. Because we got him below the... Uh, the Abelio. Um, actually, let's do this. So we should steal enough attack bar with this that we can actually get the follow-up. Yeah, yeah, like this. And kill even through the Abelio. Yep, there you go. Nice. Spicy team. The the Zabala Craig combo is absolutely dumb. <laughs> Very fun. That but yeah, the reason I brought Zabala there was specifically to fight against the Abelio. It played out oops, same guy. We're just gonna have a little duel here again. He takes he takes my unit. No. Okay, we bring Oliver instead. <laughs> Okay, he's going to bring weirdo stuff that probably won't matter. We're actually going to go slightly tankier. Actually, just for fun, because we it's the third time we're fighting him, so he's going to be countering what we're fighting. Uh, we're going to bring uh, stuff that counters him also. Like, I'm going to potentially pick an Abelio or... Oh, he dug eat. Okay, whatever. No one cares. So we actually have two counters to Douglas right now. We can also bring this little guy. Uh, and I'm fine with that, actually. Okay, cool. So we get a 33... Uh, we get Craig. Uh, 
Douglas is going to be hard, but we have Craig and we have Nephthys. So basically Craig is going to have to kill the Douglas. I think this will work. I'm actually not 100% certain, but I think it will. Also, Geo doesn't work super good into Craig. Uh, just because it puts too many buffs up. Nice counter. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this, and I think we can kill Dougie. Okay, so he still has the uh, he still has the armor break, or still has the uh, sorry the armor. Uh, see that was that was a mistake I think. Because if I get this attack break, oh, okay, I'll just kill it. <laughs> We're stealing all his points. We're going right to G1 on this man's back. But yeah, Douglas is not a good pick into a Craig at all. Especially whenever you pick it. Was that a pick four? No, it was, okay, so it was a pick four. But so a pick four when they already have a counter on the field, AKA Craig is kind of tough. Like having like a pick four uh, Douglas when they have a pick five left is, and they're already outspeeding you too. By the way, like that's that's the other thing is when they're already going faster than you, like you can't even still you don't even fifty fifty them between the speed threat and like your your hard counter or you know or your force band unit. So, I, I just don't like it. It's not. I'm ooh. We I love Amduat though. Absolutely big fan of Amduat. So he's going speed and he's also going counter. So I'm not gonna pick. Let's do this actually. So this is gonna be kind of weird. The reason I'm doing this is I want something tankier in this slot. Like I don't really wanna pick Nephthys here. Okay, so Douglas is just bad. Douglas is not a good pick here. I already have two hard counters, one pseudo counter. Um, essentially if he doesn't pick a speed lead, I'm picking Nephthys. Okay, so there's the speed lead. So I actually have to ban this. I have to ban Ethna now. And then I'm gonna bring another counter to Douglas. He probably bans Craig though. Okay, he didn't. Okay, so we might get to kill him? Question mark, hashtag. Uh, we're on Will except for, actually I can't remember. Is Chungpung on Will? I just looked and I don't remember. I don't draft him very much. He is on Will. Okay, so we're gonna get to go pretty fast. Please push the Amduat. We did, but it, he strips one buff. If he despair stunned, I would be, it would be wild. Okay, <laughs> look at this. We're gonna kill Douglas with a Chungpung. Except he's, oh, he's coming back, boys. Oh, hold on. Oh, what is this Douglas? <laughs> All right, don't pick that Douglas for sure. That guy was like, they always ban Douglas. I just armor broke that Douglas with a Chung Pong. Does my Chung Pong have a lot of attack? Actually, it kind of does. That's so it's like a 3000 attack Chung Pong with attack buff or something like that. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. It's actually kind of a high attack Chung Pong. Didn't know. As I said, I barely, I rarely draft, rarely draft Chung Pung. Um, uh, okay, if, if the matches start taking too long, we'll probably get to cut it off because we've kind of done a lot of what we're doing. Let's see who's in C3 right now. Do I get to fight anyone crazy? Is this Meow Meow? I think this is Meow Meow. I think we're dead. <laughs> this is, this is a uh, level of competition that I am not prepared for. If I'm not mistaken, this is SWC contender Meow Meow. Um, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Uh, let's go here. Let's okay. Let's let's draft serious units to fight this serious man. 
Okay, okay. I don't like that too much. See, the thing that sucks here is I cannot... I'm not allowed to challenge that. Let's actually go Dougie. I'm gonna ban it and see if he gives us Craig. I think he won't ban it. His stuff is probably high enough attack that he doesn't have to care about... Oh, he did. Okay, so we have a potential. So theoretically, so I don't know if I'm gonna be faster than his Gianna. If it's a swift Gianna, we're kind of we're kind of boned, but I am off will on both Moore and Craig. So even if he's faster, it might still be okay. And if we're not faster, I think we outspeed the uh Okay, that's pretty good. We push that. Okay, hold on. Whew. Oh, what is that? Come on. Oh, double res, never mind. <laughs> okay. See, this, you just to get into SWC, you just gotta sack the uh, stuff out of them. <laughs> okay. See? Easy. It's just easy as that. But no, I did make the right ban though. So so Tian Lang doesn't counter Craig, by the way. Like the, the boost is way too big on Craig. Um so there was a little bit of luck there and a little bit of skill, but honestly that was how it should have worked based on how I understood the game to work. So that, that's what I'm saying is like you, as long as your strategy, oh, okay. See, this is what we don't like. Cause I don't have a Leo. I don't have a Leo. Let's bring a 33. Let's bring this guy. Okay. He's doing weird stuff. Okay. So we're actually going to Amdrot now. So this is his accelerator, right? It's going to be this guy. So we're actually going to ban it. Okay. He gives us that. I don't know how fast is, I mean, it's gonna be faster. This is, this again, d uh, 33 high speed units is worst day of my life. Like I should have potentially started trying to luck sack him earlier. Like if I had banned or if I had picked, oh, he's slow, never mind. Okay, he's gonna go with this guy or does he go Oliver? I Hopefully he actually goes uh, Oliver. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, so this is fine. We need to reset the tableau because if it's violent tableau, it's scary. Okay, that's not too bad. <sighs> All right, so let's go here. Let's kill this. I'm not going to attack. Um, okay, now we kill this. We reset this. Nice. So he was just too slow. So, so like in this case, what ended up happening is actually he's uh, making up for probably his slow-ish runes. Like he his or rather, I bet he has fast runes, but they're not efficient enough to be used on a unit like Sonia. And so he's running thirty threes to kind of like make up for it. His fast runes were probably on that Escher, and I just happened to like uh, luck's not the right word, but because I like to ban the accelerators either way. Um, but he, yeah, he probably had all his fastest stuff on Escher and then was using it to boost his other two. Um, so when in doubt, the fastest runes are always on Escher, by the way. Always, always on Escher. The, the pure booster, it's always on Escher unless they have, um, uh, Kabila. And then sometimes it's on Kabila, but usually Kabila gets the, the, the second set, not the first set. Because she's too fast already. Okay, so he goes 33. We're, we're actually not, we don't have to worry too much. Let's go Chung Pung, actually. Uh, he, with, with the Chung Pung threat, he probably doesn't ban, because he, again, he doesn't know about the swift status of this guy. He probably bans Chung Pung, is my guess, because he has two big threats on him right now. Uh, he probably is betting on violent proccing uh, to get rid of, to deal with the Nephthys, and he's probably going to ban Chung Pung. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny, okay, never mind. He, I think he's banning Craig now. This implies a Craig ban. I'm still gonna ban it. Because if he doesn't ban Craig, yeah, okay. It's rough. Actually, this is this is potentially fine though. It's not great, but it's not the worst. Um, 
It's all gonna depend what Oliver does, because we should live through the Nikki hit. I'm just trying to desync these guys just a little bit. So he doesn't have more immunity, right? So we have Chung Pong. He's gonna reset probably Nephthys. Um And then he's gonna cleave me. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, he gets the additional. We actually maybe could have won if he hadn't gotten the additional. Because we would have gotten the Chung Pong into our other units. That's too bad. Yeah, that Chi Wu signaled a Craig ban. So I probably should have. I could have hedged actually there. I could have done the Zavala, uh, and Zavala would have worked really well into that team anyway. So that was very that was very likely a Zavala pick, not a uh, Chungpong one, because we would have still gotten the reset and we would have had a second speed threat. I wasn't expecting him to pivot into Chiwu though. Chiwu is pretty rare these days. Like Chiwu immediately made me think he's banning Craig, because what happens there is now he has a 33 and a speed threat, and I have one obvious speed threat. So, and no 33. So then at that point, he's like, okay, well, you either get to run into my hay gang or you give me a 33 and a speed threat. And so here, okay, the follow up point we did last time, we're gonna go Zabala this time. We'll show that we too are fast boys. So he needs to bring another, uh, he needs to bring another speed lead and he needs to bring, okay. Or he can just go for like weird sacky stuff, which is also fine. Like this isn't, this is pretty good actually. Uh, it's really good into Zavala because Zavala doesn't do anything to it. And he's just going for uh, weirdo style. So what we can do actually now is we don't even need another speed lead because he's probably giving us speed and uh, the other unit. So we can go, we could ban this and go a Belio. In fact, I think that's what we're gonna do. So, and this is one of those cases where I would rather, to, I really want him to ban the Abelio. Yeah, so that we get our, our full combo through. Cause we, we basically need to kill him with additionals. Uh, we need to kill this guy with additional damage. Um, and so, and since Zabala is so bad into that, or into, as part of that strategy, uh, we basically needed a four span. So we're, we're gonna do this. This is, this is just the Zabala combo we were doing earlier. So we boost, we boost, we go here. Hopefully we don't stun this guy. We didn't, that's nice. We stun, we basically reset all this garbage. Um, we are going to push back here in case this is violent. I think that was swift, so it doesn't matter. He should silence this, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can keep him off of this. Okay, we did get it, nice, that's super good. Because I did what I didn't want him to do is somehow kill this robo, because the, ro the robo is pretty instrumental to our whole um, additional damage killing of um, a chroma plan. Okay, so he does get the he does get the heal slightly here. Hopefully he doesn't proc. And then he's gonna go for despair stuns. Oh no no, we reset him. He can't go for despair. That's right. Please don't proc. Thank you. Just that good. Nice. Yeah. So that was that. The draft in that one was specifically the what unit does he fear the most and try and basically to get the rest of your team through. And in that case, I was like, OK, his team's kind of weak to heals and we're kind of tanky. So Abelio makes a lot of sense. That's that's effectively what, what that one was. OK, so we have a first pick Shizuka. I actually really don't mind fighting Shizukas. Uh, Tian Lang is not super good into my team either because of the Craig that they think it is, which is, it's just like no one knows what Craig does. So like, it's just not, you know, I, I will ban the Tian Lang though. The Tian Lang has a huge effect. It just doesn't stop the combo, you know? So like I'll ban Tian Lang if there isn't a harder ban in here. Um, and so far there isn't like, uh, cause we're still looking at potentially a wind robo. Yeah, yeah, okay, so this is like a Wind Robo last pick and then ban Tian Lang, because all of this stuff is super vulnerable to Wind Robo, and if he bans Wind Robo, then we just kill him with additional damage. Uh, his actual best ban, but uh, he doesn't have a speed lead, so it won't matter. I'm saying Craig is actually a pretty good ban. Okay, he goes Dark Robo, which is weird, because like this stuff, I feel like this stuff is way worse against Wind Robo than Dark Robo. 
like you kind of pick um you kind of pick Veramos specifically because i brought dark robo well and nefties but you know what i mean like it's a uh, okay that's not good let's see do i do i biff it again i didn't that's nice okay we get resets and the stuns let's try to get this guy so we need to kill uh Veramos. so this is going to be a we're going to uh, S2 with uh, Nephthys, and then we're going to eat Veramos lunch. Never mind, he's dead. All right, GG. Okay, so we went pretty good. We climbed, we're basically in like G1-ish range right now. As I said, I got up to a round here in previous seasons, and then this season, or sorry, but then I didn't manage to finish it out. I'm hoping, because I don't reruin this account, but usually like once per season, uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do with some reruning and some because I got I got some pretty good stuff uh, out of my farming. I'll show it off real quick. So like I just got this intangible a little bit ago. So this isn't getting used anywhere yet. Um, this resistance is just because I don't have an HP percent to put here yet. But like this rune is fantastic. I don't have grinded. I have some other stuff that's in here that's pretty good. I got this one, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I'm not going to show up to mirrors. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching this team. Uh, as, a, as a side note, um, if any of you, since I'm trying to uh, figure out exactly what I want to do with these videos going forward, because like the, the biggest issue is right now I've been doing one basically new team per video. And it turns out there's only so many teams. Uh, and I'm mostly kind of curious if how much people care if I repeat teams. Um, like basically are people getting more out of the decision making or are they wanting to see the teams showcased more? So what I might, I'm one thought I had is to start um, doing like these, the, uh, the educational drafting videos will be repeat teams so that I don't have to redo a new team each time because it's a little labor intensive. And also it's like when it's a new team each time, eventually I'm gonna run out of units and then basically use the other series, which I just started the team building one uh, as a way to show how to like craft teams. And then I can try to get creative and then try stuff out and see if it works. Um, and then do two different kinds of teams. Cause the expectation with these, with these drafting videos is that I'm trying to actually win. <laughs> You know, so uh, so playing experimental teams every time is going to have at least a few duds where when I'm literally like just trying to make a team, it's to, you know, it's the thought process process of finding out if it even works, you know. Anyway, that's that's just what I was thinking about. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, been It's been really great. Ha the support in the comments and everything. I super appreciate that. So, well, yeah, just keep it coming. I, I try to respond to everybody. Uh, so if I don't get to you, I apologize. Uh, you can either ask again or wait or, you know, like you're not bothering me if you if you ask questions. So keep going for it. Anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, a lot. Again, appreciate it. Have a good one. Get out there. It's early season. Have some fun. See you later.